Hi, I'm Lizzie and welcome to Lizzie Love Art. This is part two of a three-part tutorial of swipes, puddle pours and blows. A black swipe, a white swipe and a combination black and white swipe. So let's get started with our tropical flowers, the second of three tutorials. For our colours, our flowers will be red, orange, gold, lemon, metallic gold and metallic bronze and our background will be hues of blues and greens, a variety of them just to get a different contrast, light and dark. For silicon I am using the OGX coconut milk, it's amazing and gives just the best bullet cells and of course our black and white for the swipe. Start your canvas, thumbtacks on the back, I put gesso on it then sand it and now I'm going to put a layer of our white, one part white paint, it's titanium white, uh, Windsor and Newton Galleria, two parts Floetrol and then I add a little bit of water and I make this uh, uh, just a, a thin white. No silicone added to the background or to the swipe colour which in this case is going to be white. Now I start adding my colours randomly across the canvas. I'm using a pipette as it gives me a little more control because I'm a bit of a klutz and I do lots of drips if I don't uh, have a little of control and the pipette helps me do that. So just the different shades of the greens and randomly placed across the canvas. All of the colours are one part paint, two parts Floetrol and then water, a little bit of water to get the uh, honey consistency. The swipe of black, I swipe with black or white, in this case it will be white and the swipe colour I make just a little bit thinner so that it ensures that I get full coverage across the canvas. So let's uh, sit back and listen to a little bit of music while we fill this canvas in. color of the flowers through into the background. I'm going to layer on a bit of the gold and uh, metallic gold and metallic bronze. Uh, it's fabulous once it's dried, it gives a sheen. And then add some of the colors that are in the flowers, just randomly, not too thick, just across all of the other colors. And this way when I swipe, some of the color of the flower will be transferred across the canvas and you won't, it won't be obvious but uh, it brings the full colour of the flowers through the canvas. We'll give it a tip to make sure that the canvas is covered and then I'll pat around the sides so that I can be sure that uh, I have good coverage. We're going to use a paper towel to drag across for our swipe. I don't wet the paper towel um, and now we'll lay down and you can see it's uh, a little bit thinner the consistency of the white. There's no um, cell production uh, or dimethicone in the, in the swipe colour. So let's lay down our paper towel, let it soak in, you can see when it gets wet and we will just drag it across. This is four times speed, the normal speed, so do it four times more slowly. Now just watch those cells come up. Use the paper towel to blur the sides of the painting uh, the leftover paint 
and then I'll hit it with a, a heat gun just to pop some cells out of it to give the sides uh, a, a little cell structure too. So let's have a look at what we have here. We have a, a beautiful bullseye type cells with multicolored centers and the OGX coconut serum is what gives me this uh, effect. It's really lovely. Now we're going to start our flowers. Let's put down some puddles. If you looked at my first video with the black swipe of tropical flowers, I use smaller flowers. I might try some larger flowers this time. And uh, if I don't like them, well, I don't like them. Uh, and we'll see how they come out. So I've laid down uh, puddles of red. I've added lemon, then orange, now gold, and I'll add some metallic gold to it also little bit of the sheen on it. Top it off with some red, then get a straw and begin below. Direction the straw on the colour that you want spread. And if you don't like it, you can just go over it again and do it again. The, the cells will still pop up. So now what I'm doing is I've dipped a stick in the white uh, paint and I'm using a a sharp stick like you would for a shish kebab and I'm just draw, dragging in some white paint to give a little definition and create the effect of petals. I'd like this to be a little more red so I'll add a little more red paint and let's have a little some buds here because I'm not uh, loving the big flowers I think I like smaller ones so I'll just add a couple of smaller ones. So I'm going to make this into three large flowers just by blending in whatever's happened here, moving the paint around by blowing it. And I must not forget to uh, drag that paint over the edge so that the flower actually comes over the edge. Let's put some greenery around the base of the flower and some stems. I'll use a dark green and then I will highlight it with a medium green and probably a reflex uh, green, a fluoro uh, type green and add a few representations of leaves. I will put a, a lighter green, medium green in. A few highlights and let's just to break up some of those larger sections of green. Just an impression of leaves. There's our reflex or brighter green just to get some highlights. I'm quite liking this now. I still prefer the smaller flowers. But that's up to you. Do my, I'm going back here and I'm adding back in uh, my shadowing, white shadowing for, to uh, delineate some petals. down, just use a bit of the paint just to bring the colour down over the edge so the flower will be. So there we go, there are our three large flowers, a couple of buds and a few leaves. Cells popping all the way through, just wonderful cell production with the OGX. I have, hope you've enjoyed this, please subscribe and click like if you have enjoyed it. Following this uh, are some still photos for you to have a little closer look at the painting. Off the edge of the painting, by the way, uh, with the drippings, there they are. I put that on plastic, I wait till it dries, then I peel it off and use it to make jewellery. I have a lovely video on a tutorial for making jewellery also. So we'll follow this up with the uh, still photos of the whole painting, some of the cells and the buds. Then followed by the tutorial I did for part one with the black swipe and a photograph of the black and white uh, swipe uh, for the Tropical Flower series. And that, that is the third video and I should have that up very, very soon. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please click like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.